Hello, my name is Zeenat Rahman. I'm the Special Advisor to the U.S. Secretary of State for Global Youth Issues. And on behalf of Secretary Kerry, it's my pleasure to be here with you today. It's an honor to have a chance to address the first Yala MENA Leaders for Change Conference, 120 remarkable young leaders from all across the Middle East. I had the pleasure to meet some of Yala's Israeli and Palestinian members when I visited Jerusalem last August. In the old city, I had a chance to listen to you talk about your backgrounds, your experiences in the Yala program, and your hopes for the future. I came away impressed and inspired, and I still think about that meeting today. You are at the forefront of the Yala Young Leaders Movement, an online community of approximately 400,000 people dedicated to enacting a new vision of freedom, equality, prosperity, and peace in the Middle East. Yala is one of the broadest and fastest growing Middle East peace movements today. And all around the world, we're, we are witnessing unprecedented advances in technology and social media, driven by young people who are harnessing these tools to create new jobs as entrepreneurs, to design new applications that benefit their communities, and to invent new means of providing a voice to average citizens. The YALA program is an important example of how you as young people are creating networks and coalitions to amplify your voice and to connect to other changemakers from throughout the region. Through YALA, you were able to establish relationships with your peers, many of whom have vastly different backgrounds and narratives than you. You courageously shared your perspectives with each other and learned from each other's experiences. And by being here at this conference, it's obvious that you're willing to build on the relationships you made during your online program. The State Department is pleased to provide continuing support for YALA Young Leaders. The vision of the YALA program matches our own vision for, for a flourishing Middle East, one where young leaders, including Israelis and Palestinians, cooperate together and play an active part in ensuring that universal human and civil rights and peace are enjoyed by all. During my trip to the region in August, I met with hundreds of young people from all walks of life. I met Israelis from the National Union of Israeli Students, Palestinian youth with the Sharik Youth Forum, Palestinian students from a West Bank refugee camp, and alumni from U.S. government exchange programs. I came away from these meetings with the sense that young people in this region want what young people all over the world want, which is the ability to make their own decisions, get an education, have a decent, good-paying job, and be able to provide and care for their families. During these three days, you'll have a chance to interact with each other face-to-face -face on, de on designing project ideas that will have a lasting impact on your own communities and also on the broader regional community. In the midst of ongoing negotiations between Israeli and Palestinian leaders, there are skeptics who say that these two parties cannot find common ground on ish or address issues that divide them. Your experience, in which you have discussed, debated, and spent time together in online and face-to-face -face groups, suggests otherwise. Your generation is defined by an energy, a talent, and an optimism that is having an unprecedented impact all around the world in the 21st century. And your experiences are illustrative of what is possible for all of us. The most important thing to do is to continue your activism once you leave Jordan and return home to your communities. Over the past year, you've built strong bonds with each other to, through Yala's online academy, but today's conference is not the end of that experience. It's the beginning of something much bigger. We appreciate all you are doing to stay connected, address each other's daily struggles, and maintain your relationships despite the many challenges that you face. We hope that Yala will continue to grow and thrive in the years to come, setting an example for how young people from different backgrounds can come together and build a stronger future based on mutual respect. As the first cohort in the Yala program, you will have the added responsibility of being leaders for participants who will follow. We know that you will rise to the challenge, and we thank you for your motivation, your hard work, and your leadership.